Shri and I'm from Power Ledger. We're an Australian company. Block Show for me, um, what I feel it understands is you know bringing together everyone who's in the blockchain community, whether it be crypto, whether it be Bitcoin or new ICOs, altcoins. So everyone just coming together and you know really getting to talk about it. I think there's a lot of uncertainty at the moment. So for us at Power Ledger, um, we're doing the first Australian ICO. So we're doing a peer-to-peer -peer blockchain um, trading energy platform. And for us, being the first one to do it in Australia, out of Australian government uh, jurisdiction, um, the issue is that you know it's never been done before. What type of requirements are there? So for us, we felt like we need to do it to the level of IPO disclosure, do it all correctly, do it all right, and you know we went down that path and you know did all the disclosures that were necessary. So we're governed under Australian law. There's consumer protection that applies to us. You know um, disclosures for companies and company directors. Um, under the corporation's law. But the problem I see with a lot of ICOs at the moment is that they're not doing that. And there's no level of government, there's no level of um, fra legal framework that applies. And that's really dangerous for people who are consumers who are going into these ICOs without any company knowledge or company disclosures provided. So I think that level from a consumer point of view is very, very important. I think dialogue with the uh, government is very, very important because that helps to promote an infrastructure and legal framework that everyone can adhere to and be happy with. So, you know, reaching out to your governments, making sure, you know, you're able to get in early to explain, look, this is what our ICO is, this is what our ICO is doing, you know, this is what crypto is, this is what blockchain is doing. That really helps set the tone forward. Um, also do work for Blockchain Australia. And, you know, we work with the governments to put forward regulation and, you know, we help to uh, remove the GST on uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrencies. And, you know, that's helped to give them understanding as to cryptocurrencies and, you know, they can be traded money and they can be useful in bringing, um, you know, good um, economy uh, sort of things to the Australian. I think this will be like a matter of time. It's going to be different for every single different jurisdiction. So um, it's just as to which country and how far they come along. I think in the next couple of years, um, especially now, we'll see a lot of guidance being put out for ICOs and it'll be literally which type of area that's going to be um, necessary, that's in demand, that's hot at the moment, that there will need to be um, you know, government's models in place. As for the crypto industry, blockchain, it's forever still expanding, so it's not always going to be you know, regulated up front straight away, and regulators tend to catch up after the fact. So I think, give it a few years, we'll see the regulations come in, and getting the regulations right is a good point that needs to be made. Blockchain Meetup, I think it's fantastic. So it's really good today just to see the amount of people coming here from all over the world internationally, and just seeing the buzz at the moment. Everyone's just non-stop talking and networking and swapping ideas. You know, it's just fantastic to see this type of um, get-together happening.